Hi guys, it's me here again with a it's kind of a homey day. It's my day off today. We have some work to do today because my roommate told me last night that one of his parents may be coming to see us tomorrow. It's kind of a big deal because I don't know how long she's going to be here for and I want to make a good impression because I've never met her before. I could just say it's his mom. My roommate's mom. And my house is kind of a mess right now. We're doing this uh, stay at home thing right now. Been spending more time at home and it's kind of a mess because we've been like hanging out but we haven't really been cleaning. Today we are going to clean the house and you're going to come with me. To help us clean the house though, the other day I ordered some new cleaning products. I will show you the unboxing we did here. Hi guys, it's me. Today I have an unboxing video for you. This is not a sponsored video. I'm saying that right now from the beginning so there's no hesitation or question. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased these items myself. I did get like a free gift for signing up for this or trying it out, um, but I bought the rest of it, so it is not a sponsorship. However, if this company does want to sponsor me, please send me an email onto the video. We have a box from The Grove. Well, this is like a cleaning company, I guess, but they have like lotions and shampoos and stuff too. I got an ad for them on Instagram, which is why we're here now. I wanted to see like what, how it worked and like how, I've never done a subscription box before. So I wanted to see how good this one was before I bought it. So this is like their trial thing. Um, it's like if you spend $20, they send you like $30 worth of free stuff. They're going to open this box and I'm going to see if they actually sent the products they said they were going to and like what the quality's like. I need some scissors. You guys got like two seconds of nuke in that shot. Do you want to help us do the unboxing? We can't find a knife, but you can find a box cutter. We got brown paper. Brown paper, okay. Oh! Alright! I see you're not playing around. Let's start with this. Um, okay. and here we have I actually show you guys. We have a gray bucket with a wooden handle that has their branding on it. Um, if I remember on the website it said this was like a cleaning material bucket. So there's that. In here we have hand soap. So this is actually awesome because, as you guys know, like, nobody has soap right now, nobody has hand sanitizer. So, yeah, this is Myers Clean Day Hand Soap. Fresh cut grass. I'll have to see if I can smell it for you and give you guys a review later. I never used this brand before. Uh, it probably should be though, it's got like essential oils and aloe vera. Yeah, neat. Next in here is a walnut and cellulose scrubbing sponge. Looks like this. It says it's good for cookware, glassware, countertops, and appliances. All right, we'll test that. And that's all that's in the bucket. So we can take our bucket and we can put the stuff in it. Bucket. There's a lot more in this box. Got multi-surface by that same brand. Oh yeah, this was one of the things I ordered, so I wanted to get it. Um, this is a glass, uh, glass dish soap bottle. Um, we have one right now that's like skull shaped, but I wanted to get another one for um, like different soaps or for our bathroom. Yeah. This is a glass soap bottle that is stuck in the packaging. So it's got a silicone bottom. Yeah, that's neat. All right, yeah. So that's the glass bottle. Um, I'll see how long that lasts in this household. Um, next is a glass spray bottle. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. 
So I'm glad I kind of found some place that sells them. I hate those plastic ones. Uh, so we have plastic top, but there's a spray bottle for you, and it's glass. I like the colors too. And then we got uh, dish soap. This was one of the ones that um, was on their beginning deal. It's like a bag of dish soap. So this is for this this guy right here, and it says one of these will refill twice. All right. Neat. And these were some more things that I ordered. This is uh, Meyer's dish soap um, because they had a deal on those, so I thought I would try it. And um, this is a reusable, replaceable head walnut scrubber. So it's like a wooden scrubber with the replaceable heads. The scrubber I have right now has replaceable heads, but it's all like plastic. And so I wanted to try something a little different, especially when I'm spending more time at home now. So, what is this? This is just a book explaining how the Grove works. Um, like I said, this isn't sponsored, so I'm not going to plug any of this. But um, if you guys want to give it a shot, it's the Grove. This is pretty neat. I might keep you guys if you have this quality of product. But we'll have to... Um, Test some of this out and see for ourselves. Now we're gonna do a little review as we clean. So first off, I need to clean up this uh, living room mess I have going on. I forgot to record it, but I reorganized my bookshelf. I don't know what happened here. But we're going to fix it. So the first thing I think we're going to use is this multi-surface everyday cleaner. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of stuff from cooking breakfast on my stove here. We're going to try and get that off. Here we are. My counter and my stove with the multi-surface cleaner. Alright. Let that soap on there for a second. It sprays really nicely. I got my paper towels here. Smells really nice. That clean grass scent is nice. Might need something a little more abrasive for these types of surfaces to suck on things. It's very hit or miss because some of the spots came right out, some of the spots are still stuck on there. It smells super nice though. Reminds me of like summer. I could use this for this, but I don't know if I want to use it on my countertops or not. It says it's good for countertops. Mm. Dishwasher safe. Alright. Let's uh, try this out. Oh, there's two in here. I thought it was just one giant sponge. That's a pleasant surprise. It feels kind of squishy and like it's a little damp already, but it just pulled it out, so it can't be... Huh. Alright. Let's go in with our spray again and see what happens. So I'm sure, like, it does the same thing as other sponges. I don't usually use sponges on my countertops, but this one's nice because it's not so, like, rough. So I don't have to worry about it, like, scratching anything or damaging anything. It's just a soft little sponge. Next, we're going to try and do some dishes. Now, I don't feel like I need to bust out more of the same brand for this video, so we're going to try this gel dish soap that was sent to me. This little 
soap dispenser. Now, I already have a soap dispenser. This is my other soap dispenser. But, um, I figured I might as well order the one that goes with the soap. So this says that it will fill this thing two times. So if you guys can see that there. It's a clear soap, so it's not colored. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Need a little bit of a mess. That's alright. Alright. So there's our jar filled with soap. I'll put the, uh, the rest of this pouch for later. It smells really nice, that lavender and that thyme. Mm. And then let's give it a little test pump, shall we? Yeah, that's a good amount of soap. So what we're going to do next is we're going to try this with our um, dish scrubber. Like I said, really test this. This is one of my favorite teacups. And it's usually like a see-through teacup. But the dishwasher, for some reason, can't seem to get it clean. So I have a bucket of water here. It's a pan. But we're going to try and wash it with our, our soap and our scrubby. There's soap on there. Um, and see what happens. So we're gonna do it. It looks pretty clean. Get a little dry. You know what? This looks better than it when I pulled it out of the dishwasher. So this soap works pretty well, and there's no odor on the dish, but when you're washing it, it smells great. It smells like lavender. Look at this water here. It smells like lavender. Huh. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I finished the dishes. I mopped. I swept. I just need to vacuum. But I wanted to show you my little uh, setup now that I replaced all of my fiddly bits. So this is now our sink. This is a water spray bottle for uh, whatever I need to spray water on. Uh, obviously my old dish soap, my new scrubby brush. This is my sponge and my new dish soap. So yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like very minimal there. So that's my new little grove setup. Uh, this guy is gonna go in my bathroom. So next we're going to vacuum and then take out the trash and then I think cleaning will be done. But look, look at how clean it is. It's all clean, yes. And the fridge is all clean down there, yes. Yes, yes! I think we should vacuum. I think we should vacuum. Alright guys, all is all clean. Oh, also, forgot to say, um, this brush, the uh, replaceable head one, I read on the packaging that this is actually dishwasher safe, and so are these. So, like, you don't have to throw it away and get a new one anytime it gets dirty. You just wash it in the dishwasher with your dishes. How awesome is that? But yes... Everything is done, everything is clean, so I am satisfied. I am going to enjoy the rest of my day off. I am going to sit down and play some Animal Crossing, because uh, that game has been absorbing my life during this whole quarantine. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, um, and I check my comments every single day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.